Food, or better said, cuisine, is an easy way to travel the world without ever leaving your city. And today we're going to Eastern Africa, better said, more specifically, Ethiopia. This is my first experience eating Ethiopian food, so I'm not really sure what to expect. I do know that I chose Obey as my first experience, and I'm sitting down with the owner, Jamie Wallace. I'm sure he'll fill me in. Thank you for having us. Glad to be here today. Um, one thing that I always say, and I'd see if you agree with, is that you can discover a lot about a culture through the cuisine. Absolutely, um, and I think especially with respect to Ethiopian food in particular, um, it's, it's a very communal atmosphere. And um, when when you dine, we're at a traditional setting here, which is the, this basket, hand, hand woven basket, is called a meso, and the uh, stools we're sitting on are called parchuma. And so traditionally, Ethiopians would gather around uh, this meso. This would be served on a platter, served with bread called a jar, and you eat the food with this bread with your hands. So traditionally you would tear off pieces of the bread, scoop it with these different stews, different different veggies. And so the whole concept is this communal environment. And in fact, uh, it, it's not uncommon for a guest guests for the to feed you. Jamie is full of knowledge, and I really enjoyed the traditional settings of the bachuma and the masob or stole in basket. I can't wait for the food. And just as I thought I couldn't wait any longer, there comes Salima with the food in hand. As Salima explained the dishes, I couldn't help but notice that this is a different dining experience, most like a African tapas. A lot of little portions of different cuisine from veggies to meat. So how do I start? <laughs> no, it's a good question. And basically, what you end up doing is, as I mentioned, there's a njara here. Njara is the traditional Ethiopian flatbread that also is used as your utensils. It tastes and feels a lot like a sourdough pancake. Okay, folks, here it goes. My big debut eating Ethiopian food. What will I think? Whatever you take. Whatever you take. Good night. Yeah. Pull that back down. Yeah. What would you would you suggest on this table as being your favorite uh, favorite dish? Um, I think. Uh, do you like Do you like spicy? Do you like mild? I like it all. Okay. <laughs> Great. Um, this is a little bit spicy, but it's the little too much. It's a nice chicken dish with some some of this sauce actually that's on the platter. It's very good. It's not like, it's not something people have to be scared of. Right. It's a very familiar flavor. Right. When I asked Jamie about the recipes for his restaurant, this is what he had to say. Nothing we do is to try to change it for the American palate. It, uh, to the extent anything ever tastes different, it's us thinking we've tried to improve on a dish. Uh -huh. um, our, our philosophy is to keep any item as traditional as possible. So now I get why Ethiopian food is the only African cuisine that has gone global. One thing that I have discovered is there is nothing about Ethiopian food to fear. In fact, I've discovered it's definitely something you should check out. And after the break, we have a lot of other things for you to check out in the entertainment front in Pittsburgh. So stay with us right here on KCNC. Oh, and before I go, I'm bringing my doggy back home. Right